Hello, my name is Stuart, and I'm fortunate to be one of the two who helped edit the new book, Contemplation and Community. And I wanted to just share a few thoughts with you about what the process of the book meant for me and also what my dear friend Jesse Smith and I hope that the book will be used for in conversations and for growth, both on a personal level and in different communities. When Jesse and I were first approached about the chance to edit the book, we were very conscious of the fact that there was no way that we could possibly include every single possible person who is embodying this deep, rich, contemplative conversation in the world today. The book is not meant to be exhaustive, but it is meant to be indicative of a much wider conversation that we see taking place with friends and colleagues around the world. Jesse and I spent time looking at those who were gathered for the new Contemplatives Exchange in Snow Mass at St. Benedict's in August of 2017, and we narrowed down on a few key focus points that we thought needed further attention paid to it, whether that be from social um, activism, congregational development, nonprofit um, organization and structure, community development, uh, biblical studies, the role of the body in contemplative prayer, and also just an engagement with um, images and symbols and the role that they play in the way that we understand our prayer and our awareness of God's presence within our lives. So we took those particular focus points and found colleagues from four different continents that could all speak to them in very remarkable ways. The process of writing the book was a fabulous one to do with Jessie, to have time to work with her and with our friends to gather thoughts and to concentrate on the wider conversation that we see taking place. We face such difficult circumstances and so many stresses in different parts of our lives, and we wanted to find a way to give voice to many different people who were each connected with wider networks of people from around the world. All of us are seeking to ground ourselves in this deeper awareness of God's presence in our lives, and we're wondering what language and practices, what support and encouragement that we can find to on one hand ground ourselves in this abiding presence of God in our hearts, and on the other hand to embody to hold and to share Christ's compassion in a struggling world. So we hope when you take the time to read the book, we hope that you find it not exhaustive, but encouraging. And we hope that you see yourself in different parts of it and that you find some of the different chapters speaking to these parts in your own life in the different ways that you are wondering about how to live more fully into God's dream for you. We're very grateful to have the chance to, to share in this with you, and we hope that the book and all of the contributors, that what we have been able to offer meets you where you are and encourages you in your particular vocation as well. Have a wonderful day.